Thanks for checking out Henry AI Labs. This presentation is going to cover auto augment. Auto augment is about using uh, reinforcement learning search algorithms to search through a possible set of data augmentations on image data sets. So uh, for, from a high level overview, a data augmentation is like a uh, like a vertical flip or a horizontal shift or like uh, some kind of color magnitude operation like increasing the brightness of images. And this is done to like build in variants into the data set and kind of make the model overall less prone to overfitting and you know generalize better. So the idea here is to design a search space so they can automatically find these data augmentations that work the best in their data sets because there's so many different ways that you can augment data sets and uh, it's just like completely infeasible to try them all. So the, the first thing with any search algorithm is to kind of define like a discrete search space. So uh, they have 16 data augmentation operations, which we'll look at later on. And then um, for each operation, they have 10 magnitudes. So like uh, if you're going to rotate an image, you might do it like 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. So they have 10 magnitudes in a uniformly spaced interval for each uh, operation. Then they have 11 values for probabilities of applying the operation. And this is just like... Uh, well, probably be better to so so they have uh, five sub policy and each uh, policy you sample it and then it has two operations which you might apply to the image so it could be like rotate and also uh, increase the brightness and so then with each of these operations there's an additional parameter which is the magnitude of the brightness and then the probability of actually applying it so like you might only actually increase the brightness like 50 percent of the time so when you combine up all these uh, you know, parameters of the search space, you get this totally intractable space to do a random or grid, or not random, <laughs> you can do a random search, to do like a exhaustive search through all the possibilities. So these are some of the operations that they test in auto augment. You have uh, like shearing the image, translating it, rotating it, uh, color, brightness. So these are just some of the different things that the search algorithm gets to choose to augment the data set. So this image actually isn't taken from the auto augment paper. This is taken from the neural architecture search paper, which is from the same lab, and it's the same core principles of how they train the model. So what they do is they um, they have an RNN predict the augmentations, like the you know the policy that they're going to use. Then they uh, you know test it on a child network, and then so so when they do this, they get back like an accuracy score. And like different from supervised learning where you kind of have a target that you're trying to hit and you can just do y minus y hat you don't really have this kind of thing in this search algorithm so what they have to do is like a proximal policy optimization which is derived from reinforcement learning to kind of uh, you know update the parameters based on this uh, accuracy value so this is an example of how the how these augmentation policies uh, worked out so this is one example of a policy that shears it and then inverts it and you see the probability of applying it and then the magnitude of how much uh, it distorts the image when it does get applied. And this is just uh, you know a more complete list just showing an example. Uh, they tested this on reduced CIFAR 10. So another idea is that with the child networks that you use when you're training this kind of method, you may want like a small network and a small data set so you can quickly get feedback because you have so many, uh, you know, so much to search through. You don't want to spend too much time training the child network. So thanks for watching this video on auto augment. Uh, there's a full description of auto augment on henryailabs.com. Thanks for watching.